What is going on guys? Berg here from THC bringing you guys a brand new war recap. So we went to war with Wizard Panda, level 11 clan, bringing it down, nice war. Smash, didn't smash us, but you know, in, in my mind they smashed us. Um, nice fair play clan, um, you know, freaking just doing work on our bases. The first five minutes, you know, first five to ten minutes of war, they just... I think they were up like 36 stars, and it was just like, wow, these guys are, these guys aren't messing around. And let me tell you, these guys weren't messing around. But um, you know, don't be fooled. THC definitely made a big comeback. I was very surprised. Um, very proud of you guys. Um, big comeback on our end. Unfortunately, we still lost. But hey, um, you know, good job going against the level 11 clan. And I think we're a little bit outmatched as well. So um, nice job, THC. Uh, Wizard Panda, excellent job on your guys' end. Um, you guys got us 96.88% to our 95.36%. Uh, 71 to 71, a tie, unfortunately. But, um, you know, good job, guys. Um, you know, we had some crazy attacks. I think we were down by two, so 69 to 71. In the last 10 seconds, uh, Snoop Dogg stepped it up, hit their Town Hall 11, tied it up, and we thought we had the win. Everyone was going freaking crazy. I was going crazy. And we realized that we didn't get the win, so, uh, but that's okay. Um, so let's go ahead and show what they did to us. Um, so like I said, 71, 71. Um, they weren't able to two-star our top Town Hall 11, but they uh, pulled off the two on our number two uh, with their Town Hall 11, and then they pulled a couple three-stars on our Town Hall 10s, and they cleaned our rest of our nines, so... Um, nice job, Wizard Panda. You guys are freaking great. You know, it was a fun war. Um, and a lot of your raids were some mass bowlers. You know, we were kind of getting questionable. We are like, what the hell? These guys are just mass bowling. Um, you know, come on. But, you know, you guys got to do what you got to do. And you pulled off the win. So, you know, you know, we can't complain. Um, but, anyways, good job. You know, we pulled off the two on both the Town Hall... 11s, uh, Mighty Mike stepping it up, he's a Town Hall 10, stepping up on number 2, getting the 2 stars, securing that in the bag, so our Town Hall 11s can drop down, guys, that is the strategy here, have a Town Hall 10, step up, get that 2 star in that Town Hall 11, and have that Town Hall 11 drop down and get those 6 stars, um, you know, we, we attacked Chuck -a luck like 5 or 6 times, it was ridiculous, our, our 11s hit it, 10s, and it was just like ridiculous, and a guy who's never been hitting uh, Town Hall 11 at all, um, you know, did some research online real quick, within the last 10 minutes of war, um, new guy here, Snoop Dogg, welcome to the, you know, welcome to the team, Snoop, glad to have you, dude, excellent attacker, um, I w you know, last 10 seconds, we were down by two, and we were like, wow, the war's over, you know, the war's over, we're like, where's Snoop, he's not gonna hit, and then 10 seconds goes by, doesn't even, just sneaks in, hits the attack button, secures the two-star, Excellent job, and we're like, wow, my God, we won, and then realized that we didn't, but that's okay. So, um, you know, in our hearts, Snoop, you are our MVP. Nice job, man. You, great attacker, dude, doing work. Um, Would have been a six-star war if you had a drop down and not hit an 11, but uh, five-star war for you, um, good job. So we'll go ahead and start off with your attack, um, you know, MVP of the war on our end. So, um you know, most of the other attacks we entered from the top by the Eagle and, you know, for just failed tremendously. So, um, pre-placed jumps and pre-placed po pre poison um, drops in the stoned golems and followed by the bowlers, creating that super wide funnel. Um, drops in the heroes, drops in the Valk, so they go straight up the core. Um, drops in the rage, out comes the CC. Um, everything just doing work. So much tanking going on here. Uh, Bowler's doing their thing. King hops the wall, gets that CC down. Probably going to hit the queen here in a minute. Maybe not. Um, about to get that town hall down. Percentage is going up, up, up the wall here, 40%. Uh, Bowler's still doing their thing. Uh, Inferno's still not down. Eagle Artillery taking down that queen, king. Um, Queen just targets the king just in time, gets that town hall down, smashes it, gets the 52% in the bag. Uh, right now it's just a percentage game. Trying to get that percentage, get that upper hand on Wizard Panda. Didn't unfortunately happen, but um, solid two-star, man. Like, literally, solid two-star. 
you know, your level two bowlers, not bad. You know, it could be done, guys. It can be done. This was a really high Town Hall 11, and Stoop, you know, in my opinion, and all of our other opinions, smashed it. Unfortunately, he obviously didn't get the three-star, but um, stepping up like that, you know, freaking nice job, man. Um, keep up the good work. Definitely glad to have you, dude. Keep up the good work and keep helping out and definitely fast-track you in the leadership here. So um, nice job, man. All right, guys. Next attack is going to be by Anno, uh, other Town Hall 11, coming from WHF2. Uh, it's going to be a Queen Walk go, ba go Boho on number three. And it was a Town Hall 11, um, smashing a Town Hall 10, taking down, um, I, I don't know how to say your name, but something Rage. So uh, nice job. Drops in that Baby Dragon, creating that funnel at the bottom. Drops in the Queen with the Archer, uh, the healers behind. Drops in the Wizard. Creating that funnel. Nothing's touching that wizard right now. Just one wizard doing work. Still working. Finally getting touched out there by that archer tower, but that's okay. Uh, queen working her way down. Created that funnel up top. Working her way towards the bottom. Drops in the hog. Trying to get that CC lure. Queen's getting low on health. Drops the rage spell on the healers and the queen. Uh, drops that po pre-placed poison. Double poison. Um, gets that balloon taken care of here shortly. Like I said, guys, one balloon can take out your queen. Um, I don't know how I, you know, I can't stress this enough. One healer can take out, or one balloon can take out your queen. Um, queen working her way towards the center. Drops the Grand Warden. Pops Queen's ability. Um, gets that expo down. Probably going to go down here by that Inferno Tower and the queen. Uh, that's okay. Um, drops the, the Warden on those bowlers. Bowlers working their way towards the core. Drops the jump spells. Bowler's heading straight towards the core. Um, healers reroute onto the king and to the bowlers. Getting full health. Bowlers just smashing the base, taking the base down. Um, a lot of their attacks was mass bowler. And um, I think that influenced our guys to break out the bowlers and you know show them that you know we can do bowlers too. If that's who you want to play, then that's how we'll play it. So um, you know that's what we did. Bowler's still in the core, taking down uh, the rest of the core. Drops in a few hogs. Um, on some defenses that aren't distracted. Uh, unfortunately, Wizard Tower uh, got distracted and, and locked onto those Hog Riders, but Hog Riders still got the Wizard Tower down. Uh, bowlers working their way on the bottom left. Uh, we got Bowlers up top, little Goblin for a cleanup troop up there. Um, goblins, great troops to, for cleanup, guys. Um, one or two Goblins can definitely speed up. You know, it's a lot better than one Archer, one archer two Archers. Um, Definitely goblin or two. I, I suggest bring it to you. Um, definitely, you know, they're really fast and very, very nice to have on cleanup. So um, nice job, Anno. <clears throat> Love the attack, man. Um, you know, definitely keep up the good work. Um, you've been doing work already. So, um, you know, thanks for everything you do, man. We appreciate it. Next attack is going to be by myself on number eight. Gets drunk panda. No, not number eight. My bad. Number nine, I'm number eight. <laughs> I wish I would have taken down Drunk Panda. But anyways, on Captain Morgan's, um, I'm bringing a Quad Quake, Queen Walk, Go Vaho. So, uh, fairly decent Town Hall 9. Drop the Queen on that out outer building. Um, you know, trying to figure out which way she's going to go. I want her to go down. Um, I drop her on an angle where I think she'll go down as best as possible. Um, I go ahead and drop that Quad Quake. Um, that compartment's already open, so no, I didn't even bring wall breakers. Didn't need to. I uh, dropped the healers pretty wide, just in case she does walk upwards. Um, didn't want them to get taken care of, so I dropped that hog rider. I only get a, a you know a quarter of the CC pulled, unfortunately. Um, I dropped that other hog on that Tesla, and Tesla goes did not go down. Um, finally, got the rest of the CC lowered. Queen's barely hanging on there. Out comes the dragon, so I'm about to drop the uh, rage spell here on on the healers, on the queen. I'm trying to save her ability as best as I can, not wanting to waste her ability. Um, I go ahead and start my my raid here, pretty much. I got the um, CC down, so didn't have to worry about that. So I drop the drop the golem in, drop a couple wizards up top, trying to create that funnel, guys. Um, golem goes in. King um, decides to walk. I don't know why. I thought I created it wide enough, but, you know, decides to walk. So took a walk with the Valks, 
Um, what I got six Valks in the core. So at this point, I'm like, okay, guys, I can, you know, I can, I can figure this out. I can rework it. So I drop the heal spell on the Valks in the core, trying to save them. I know there's probably got to be a Tesla farm in there somewhere. Um, you know, the way those, the way everything's separated, but you know, there's not a Tesla farm. So I was kind of shocked there. Um, still got one heal in the bag. I'm trying to start dropping troops right here, trying to get my king to push in towards the core instead of working his way around. So he, he reroutes, goes to the core. I dropped that pre-paced heal on the hogs and those Valks and my queen. Um, that definitely saved my raid. Got the expo down and got that wizard tower down. Uh, queen's still alive, full health. Still, uh, you know, healers working those hog riders, so that's pretty pretty nice. Um, king almost full health, so everything's actually doing pretty well. Um, unfortunately, plan didn't go exactly to the you know to the plan, but um, sometimes you just gotta make those adjustments and and go with it, and you know do the best you can do, um, and that's what I did. So um, you know I was pretty pretty stoked with my attack. Uh, anyways, next attack is gonna be by Havoc. Um, where is it at? Where are you at? All right, number 13, take it on 16, Chuck's four. Um, Havoc's going to bring a Govaho, a standard Govaho. A lot of Govaho attacks this war on Pulthans. Um, you know, like like I said and like I've talked about it before, that seems to be the meta right now for attacks. Um, but brings the Govaho, um, creates that nice wide funnel, got that mortar tower taken care of, Golem straight in the middle. Drops in the wall breakers from the CC, followed by the Max Valks, and followed by the rest of the Valks. Um, drops in his hero, heroes, I guess. Um, should be dropping a jump here. Yep, drops the jump, open in those three compartments, and followed in by the targeted hogs. So targeted hogs come in, working their way. Queen goes down, drops the poison on the CC and the um, enemy king. Hogs going down on both sides here, working its way around the base when. When defenses are distracted, drop it in hogs. Um, King gets that bomb trip before the hogs even touch it. Drops the heal spell just in case there's another bomb there. Um, still working the hogs in from the top. Still got his queen. Uh, King at full health. Queen kind of semi-half health. Uh, Valks get into the core. Taking down that expo and that Tesla. Um, hogs working their way around top. Nothing to worry about up there. No double bombs. Um, it looks like this base mostly has single bombs anyways. Unless he has a super trapped bomb on the side that I don't know about but drops in the heal spell covers his king covers some Valks and covers the hogs works out perfectly um, you know Queen's still up dropping in the cleanup troops on the top getting those whizzies down uh, working on that cleanup hogs more than what four or five hogs here alive taking down that last Tesla um, looks like they didn't really get affected by that spring trap which is nice uh, got cleanup troops on both sides working their way around towards each other and through the middle so I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward this uh, my computer's dying, but uh, nice job, Havoc. Nice go, Vaho, man. Um, I know you're definitely an air attacker, but, uh, you know, changing it up this war, and that's what we like to see, man. Keep it. All right, guys. Sorry about that. Uh, app just crashed out of nowhere, unfortunately. I think my computer is about to die, so it automatically forced it off to save the battery. But um, I was showing T-Swizzle on John Smash. T-Swizzle 21, taking down John Smash number 19. Uh, go ahead and watch the replay. T-Swizzle coming at this fairly new 10 hole 9 um, with a Govaho. Um, like I said, most of the raids in this this war were Govahos on both ends, I'd say. Um, so drops in the golem, tanks for all that. Um, you know, the guy, John Smash, got him on the, you know, on the heroes, got a level 15 king. No big deal. Drops in the wall breakers, gets that wall open. Um, super wide funnel while everything's distracted on that golem. You know, that golem's just taken for like four or five defenses, drops in the king, out comes the baby drags, drops the queen down, followed by a few more wizards, and drops the double poison on that baby dragon, trying to get those baby dragons down as soon as possible, because we all know baby dragons can do work on heroes, especially a queen, especially one baby dragon. So, super wide funnel, excellent job, man. Uh, drops the jump spell. Um, since you've been in the clan, you've been learning a lot. Definitely picking up on funneling. Funneling is the most important, one of the most important things in a raid. Drops the baby dragon on the right for the cleanup, followed by some hog riders. Uh, pop, hits the Tesla farm over here. I would have dropped some hogs on that to be, personally, but um, you decided to drop them on this side, which is okay. Um, it's okay to clean up both sides as long as you can do it efficiently um, and tactfully. So 
drops the hogs on the right, followed by that heel spell. In comes the hog, straight into that heel spell. Drops the heel spell on those Valks straight there on the left. Um, Valks doing their thing. Still have a few defenses up top. Um, has a little cleanup Valk up there. Trying to do work. About to go down here pretty shortly, but it's got a, like six Valks left and a few... Um, a few hogs here, about to trip this bomb, gets the double tripped, unfortunately loses his hogs. Um, if it wouldn't lose it, it would have been a lot faster raid, but still has, you know, five, six Valks here doing their thing. Queen's still alive, still has the baby dragon that he dropped for cleanup. Definitely doing work. I've never seen the baby dragon used for cleanup, um, but, you know, I like it. Definitely like it. Um, thanks for showing us that tweet, T. Appreciate it, man, and thanks for, you know, doing work. And a nice six pack this war, man. I uh, would love to show all your attacks, but like I said, we're in a time crunch here, and um, we can only you know do as much as we can. But nice attack, getting those last defenses down, getting the three star, bringing it down on smash. Uh, nice job, T. Keep up the good work, man. So, anyways, nice job, Wizard Panda. Loved the war with you guys. One of our best, you know, favorite wars here that we've pretty much ever had. Um, kind of feel like we. Didn't do our best on our end. I think we could have did a little better and could have actually pulled off with the win. Um, it's kind of like scratch on the eight ball in the pool, guys. Kind of, you know, I feel like we scratched on the eight ball and gave you the win. But, you know, when it, win is a win. You guys earned it. Um, unfortunately, it's a tie, but you guys won by percentage. Um, but, you know, we were outmatched as well. So, um, anyways, nice job, Wizard Panda. Thanks for playing, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you guys would like to warn the future, definitely uh, hit us up for an arrange. We'll you know, I'd love to set that up. Um, everyone, I appreciate you guys watching this video. Please like and subscribe. Comment down below. Let me know. Let us. Let me know what you want to see. Uh, let me know what you want to post. You know what you want me to post. Um, I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible. Would love to make more videos. We'll definitely be making more videos here shortly. But um, definitely like, subscribe, and comment down below, guys. And if you feel like joining the clan, check us out. Um, also check us out on Twitter and uh, on Twitter at the Holy Cronut. Um, you know, follow us on Twitter. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. And now, as always, take care and have fun, guys. Peace.